in this session we shall look at another important aspects of indian another important aspect of indian culture and um, indian society okay that is uh, social stratification how do we understand the word stratification it basically could be translated as classification okay and under social stratification in indian cultural system there are two sub systems that is class system and caste system okay there are also many other types of social stratifications that is division based on which people are divided in indian um, social setup but these two are the predominant forms of stratification in india the first one is class system second one is caste system okay class system is uh, something which defines uh, people's um, positioning in society based on the wealth they possess and the income they earn okay so based on that it is decided to which class a person belongs to whether rich class poor class uh, middle class okay so it's a kind of very arbitrary classification so under caste system uh, similarly you have upper class and uh, lower class and um, it is based on Uh, indian mythological um, aspects and indian culture is majorly derived from indian mythology which which divides people into four sub castes okay brahmins uh, kshatriyas vaishyas and uh, shudras so this the basic caste system which is very unique in india okay it does not uh, prevail in other countries which is very unique in india and it derives this uh, mode of um, class uh, caste division from its um, mythological uh, beliefs uh, customs and origins okay so this was a kind of general introduction on uh, social stratification now let us look at um, little more elaborately on the aspect of social stratification we shall begin with the basic meaning of social stratification okay so sociologists use the term social stratification to describe the system of social standing okay social standing or social positioning okay then social stratification refers to a society's categorization that is a society's division and its way of categorizing its people into different ranks of socio economic tiers based on factors like wealth income race education and uh, power okay so these are the basic uh, aspects or elementary factors which divide people in a society okay so this is the general meaning of classification or uh, sorry stratification wherein people are divided based on their uh, wealth income race education and also sometimes power okay and people are divided into different rankings of socio economic tiers okay so this is the general meaning of social stratification and when we say stratification according to this definition it divides society into layers right they are very much uh, similar to the layers of the earth so society's layers are obviously made up of 
people and society's resources are distributed unevenly throughout the layers right so the resources be it natural or uh, human resources or any kind of uh, monetary resources financial resources they are not uh, distributed evenly in a society based on this stratification these resources are divided in unequal proportion amongst the people who belong to that society okay then the first point under the layers of society is that the people who have more resources they represent the top layer of social uh, structure of stratification okay the people who have more resources they represent the top layer right the more they have the more reputation and fame and respect uh, and weightage they have and the other group of people with progressively fewer and lesser resources they represent the lower layers of a society right the lesser they have the poorer they are and hence they represent the lowest strata the bottom layer of the society okay so when it comes to strata or social stratification uh, the uh, how do we understand the root word root term of the word stratification it is strata how do we understand the word strata it refers to the levels people are placed within the hierarchy of stratification based on various dimensions okay so we have the um, classes one above the other you have at the top layer you have upper class then you have uh, upper middle class sometimes okay which is a little uh, new invention otherwise you have middle class then you have working class then you have lower class then you have impoverished class okay so basically majorly there are three divisions as such upper class middle class lower class but uh, sometimes you also have the other uh, interventions in between uh, like working class and impoverished classes okay so how is the social stratification based it is not the vertical arrangement it is the horizontal arrangement so these horizontal uh, sorry it is not the horizontal but vertical arrangement horizontal is placing one thing next to the each other right so vertical is placing things one above the other so that is why we call this arrangement as hierarchical in nature where one class is placed above the other right when the rich class is placed on the top the poorer classes go bottom in the hierarchy of uh, the ladder of hierarchy okay and they bear most of the brunt of society and they are at the receiving end of all the negative aspects of a society okay so the, these stratifications are based on various dimensions like previously we discussed these dimensions include uh, one's wealth income then uh, race religion then it also includes uh, uh, education then uh, and also many times the power one possesses so based on this these different stratifications are uh, done in society there is another dimension into which social stratification is also done that is based on the dimensions of power and prestige the dimensions of income and wealth okay 
so these are the other deciding dimension based on which social stratification is divided into uh, two other major stratifications called class and caste system